Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here with the winner, Gerald Harris for ProMMAnow.com. How's it going, sir? I'm good, yeah, what's up? <laughs> How, uh, how's your hand doing? Uh, not too great. It's the third time, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'm praying it's not broken. I hope it's just fractured. I can sit out I'm trying to get this John Fitch fight so I can heal up and get back in there. At what point in the fight do you think you uh, hurt it? Uh, I knew I hurt it the second round real early, so that's why I took him down and didn't want him to get up. It's hard to fight with a broke hand, man. The sense of your grip, you know, your, your striking, mm -hmm. and I'm a right-handed southpaw, so... It was tough, but I knew I could pull it off and get the W. That one point deduction saved me, though. Yeah. Or it would have been a closer fight. Well, I mean, let's talk about the end of the first round. That was pretty crazy. Where you're, you're trying to... I don't care what nobody said he was out because he went limp after I slammed him. And I hit him, and he kind of woke up. And I thought I won. And the ref's like, no, uh, whatever. Wait, I was going to ask you, you if you were summoning your inner Quentin Rampage, but wait a minute. He, Rampage dissed you, right? Is nah, that that's you? my boy, man. He, <laughs> he always wait a minute. <laughs> He's just kinda. He's just mad at me because I caught Rampage getting a massage by a dude in a thong. So <laughs> he mad at me because I caught him. And I was like, what? So, well, you, you, you almost uh, Arona George Santiago tonight. I mean, you had him up. He started to put in the triangle. He was way up there. And then did he realize he, was, he grabbed the cage and reached over it? I saw it. I was looking. I said, oh, okay. Pull him off. Now what, we worked that in practice. We know they're going to grab the wall. Now, what did you hear from the ref at that point? I couldn't hear nothing. I just knew I was going to slam him. And I didn't hear him touch me and say, stop. You can't, in the heat of battle, you're not going to feel somebody go, hey. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I want to take him down. So I was going. Okay, I wasn't sure if he touched you or he just hit his arm off of there. And then you, you, then you did slam him. Stop it, though. You, you let, let the action go. Happens. If I try and okay. I fail, then you stop it. You know what I'm saying? You don't stop it in the middle. If every time I pick somebody up to grab a cage, then I'll never slam anybody. So. Yeah, absolutely. So, um. I hope your hands are alright. You'll go get that checked out after the press conference. Yeah. You're really looking forward to a, a Fitch fight? Yeah, that's what's next. So, we gotta heal up. He, I mean, we'll see what's up. So, yeah. I just wanna get healed, man. Get back in there. Your stand up was looking good, and you look really big in there tonight. How, 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 how much I, do you think you weighed by, by fight time? I, uh, not too much, about 185, but I'm not exaggerating. It was the best cap I had in my life. I know the third round didn't look great. I wasn't tired. No, it looked kind of weird, but. Pretty much third round, I knew I just had to not get knocked out. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm being straight up honest. I knew I was up two rounds plus a one point, and all he needed was a head kick or a good punch. So I said, hey, I'm about to just ride this round out. Well, I think your boxing looked pretty sharp tonight. I mean, I've been the first round ass. especially, yeah, your, your right jab, right hook. Well, a lot has changed since. I've got my own gym now. Okay. I got a boxing coach, a Muay Thai coach. I got a grappling coach. I got a strength and conditioning coach. I mean, I got a coach for everything. So, man, life is good, man. I got a new woman in my life, you know, and just it makes a big difference, man, when everything around you is going positive. And uh, did, did you actually grow up with, with boxing in your family? Was there someone? Yeah, but I never, I was always a wrestler. Okay. So I watched boxing, but I never threw a punch until I started fighting. So <laughs> you're getting the whole game now. It was a great performance. You almost got like the amazing highlight. Oh, that would have been it nice. It was this close. I'd have got on NBC. <laughs> yeah. Referee was hey, up, man. I appreciate it. You, you want to say, hey, John Fitch, I'm coming at you? No, I ain't calling him out. That's just a respect thing, you know. He's a, he's a veteran. He's a name. I'm a name. It's just somebody I want to fight. I'm not going to disrespect him. He's a cool guy, you know. Uh, but that's a fight I do want. I think it makes sense. So. Well, do you got a new website already going for your gym you want to plug or Twitter or oh, anything yeah, like that? Oh, yeah, HurricaneTC.com. Where's that? It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So. All right. You can find everything at G Hurricane on Twitter. I talk crazy. <laughs> I don't care who you are. I talk back. I talk back to my mama if she says something on Twitter. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this before I get smacked with the good hand. Play, mama. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Go to promomainout.com for all your information. Subscribe to my YouTube page at DanTheWolfman1 and hit up the combat system.com. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. Hey, see y'all.